Hi, in this tutorial, you will learn how to use conditional formatting in WP data tables. Conditional formatting is very useful when working with large data sets, especially numeric data. How? Let's look at this table. Now, try finding the values below 30,000. It feels like playing Where's Waldo? When you are working with a table like this one and you want to find what companies had their revenue below 30,000, you should use conditional formatting. How it works is quite easy. It allows you to highlight or change the cells, rows, or even columns based on the content of cells. To do that on a table, go to your table in WP Admin and click on Column Settings for the column you want to highlight. After that, you should go to Conditional Formatting tab. To start defining conditional formatting rules for the column, click Add Rule button. You'll see that there are several options here. For numeric and date columns, this can be less than, less than or equal, equal, not equal greater than or equal, greater than. For string columns, this can be equal, not equal, contains, or does not contain, for fuzzy comparisons. Next, you have comparison values that are used in the rules comparison operation. Then you have the formatting operation, or what to do when a match is found. In here, there are lots of options. For example, you can set the cell color. If any previous conditional formatting rule defined the cell color, you can use Reset Color to default. You can also set the cell content. With this option, you can override the actual cell contents with some custom HTML. This is useful in situations where you want to replace the company's names with logos or status messages with icons. Besides these shown so far, you can also set or remove the cell CSS class to add a custom font or edit the font size, alignment, etc. Set row color? Why not? Or you can reset color to default if any previous conditional formatting rule defined a row color. Then, you can set the row CSS class or remove a given CSS class from all the cells in the current row. Lastly, you can set the column color or CSS class. To the right, you'll find the operation value. In case you are choosing set cell color, you will have here a color picker. Otherwise, for defining CSS classes or resetting cell values, you'll have here a value. If you are not satisfied with the condition you created, you can always delete it. One thing you should know is that each next rule has higher priority than the ones above it, so it can override them. You can look at this example where values over 30,000 have a yellow color. The next rule says that values over 60,000 must have a green color, which overrides the previous one. You can add as many rules as you want for a column, but keep in mind that the more there are, the slower the table will render. One useful feature that might help you is the Today placeholder that you can use to have today's row highlighted in date and daytime columns. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to our channel to see other neat and informative tutorials.